Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. You guys know that I recently stepped out and made a big move and launched my own fashion brand. The Upcycle Fashion brand, this is, I'm in my warehouse. It's after a long week of sewing, but I wanted to make sure I brought this video to you guys as soon as possible because you might be shopping for a straight stitch, heavy duty, professional light sewing machine that's not quite an industrial. It is an industrial, but not with a table and all of that kind of stuff. So it's, this is the step right before you buy an industrial. And I would bet this is about the only video that you're gonna see all three of these sewing machines compared in one video. And I'm so excited. We partnered with Montevilla Sewing. Um, and they loaned us these sewing machines for us to test. So we got three sewing machines. We got the Juki TL18 QVP. We also got the Baby Lock Accomplice. You can see it right there. The Juki's on the other side of me, as well as the Janome HD9. So we have these on loan for a month and we get to test them out and then we have to send them back and that's gonna be, yes, a very sad day. But while we have them, we are going to make as much stuff as we can. But if you're in the market for a sewing machine, you can definitely help us out by clicking that link down in the description box and buying your new sewing machine from Montevilla. They have all types of sewing machines from all different brands. So definitely check them out. Whenever you buy a sewing machine, we get a small like percentage and that'll help us to be able to buy one of these or all three for the office. That's definitely our goal. We need to advance our sewing machines, but we'll get there when we get there and we appreciate any help we can get. Now, ever since I saw this in a store, I fell in love with it. So we're going to see how they all compare. They're three different price points, and I'm gonna give you the price points as well as like the stacks on them. And we are going to compare which one is for you. Of course, I'll tell you at the end which one I like the most, which one I'm digging, and it is surprising, but also, which one is right for you. It might be a price issue, it may be the features issue, but I'm going to try to give you as much tea as possible so that you'll know which one is right for you. All right, let's get right into it. All right, first up is the Baby Lock Accomplish. It comes in at $899 right now on retail. It sells 1,500 stitches per minute with speed adjustment, so you can adjust the speed to go slower or faster depending on what you want. It has a knee lift, it also comes with an extension table it has a thread cutter automatic up and down although in the video i think you'll see that i think it's only automatic down it wasn't staying up for me but that's just what i found um it has a telescoping thread stand and the maximum stitch length is seven millimeters which is the highest of all three it comes with eight presser feet included um it weighs 24 pounds and it has four feed dog levels, which I think is absolutely amazing. So if you have situations where um, you want those feed dogs to just be down just a little bit, um, you can go ahead and do that rather than just two levels. And then this machine out of all the machines to me is the quietest. It's just really, really quiet. And I can't even, I'll be in the office in case she'll be sewing and I don't even know that she's sewing. So yeah. Next up we have the Juki TL18 QVP, otherwise known as the Haruka. And it comes in at $1,599 right now on Montevilla's website, as well as other retailers. It also sews 1,500 stitches per minute with speed adjustment. So once again, you can adjust that speed so it, it doesn't take off on you. You can also lower the feed dog. So this one has two positions for the feed dogs, low, like gone and high. It also has an automatic needle threader. As a matter of fact, all three do. It has a knee lift. As a matter of fact, all three do. It comes with an extension table. It has a thread cutter with foot pedal control, which means if you press your heel down on the foot pedal, it will cut the thread for you. And I think that's absolutely amazing. Um, it does have automatic up and down, which means when a needle stops, it can stay up every time or go down every time, depending on what you need it to do. The maximum stitch length is six millimeters. It weighs 25.4 pounds, which is slightly more than the baby lot. Um, it also has an LED light that has a four step adjustment. Comes with a walking foot, a zipper foot, three quilting feet, quilting guide, as well as a hem foot. 
And last but certainly not least is the Janome HD9. And this one costs $2,399 right now retail. It does sew 1,600 stitches per minute, which is so fast. And you can adjust that speed as well so that you don't have to worry about it taking off on you. You cannot lower the feed dogs, I don't think. I didn't see a place where you could do that on this one. It does have an automatic needle threader, a knee lift like the other two, but it does not, like the other two, have an extension table. This particular model does not come with an extension table. Now, there is a black version. I think the other versions, like you can get the extension table, it might cost more. Um, it does come with a thread cutter, automatic up and down on the needle, telescoping thread stand. Uh, the max stitch length is six millimeters, um, but it is heavier than the other two at a whopping 32 pounds. Um, it does come with a walking foot and a hand foot, but it doesn't come with that many accessories. But it does have an automatic and independent bobbin winder. And that means with the push of a button, not your foot, you can wind your whole bobbin. And the thread will go all the way to the edge of the bobbin. That way you have more time to use that bobbin. You can sew for longer. And on top of that, the foot on this baby is so large. All right, so this is the one I've been using in the office. This is the Janome HD9 set up on my little mobile table that I can take from desk to desk. And I'm gonna show you really quickly what I am currently making with it because um, it's sitting right here on the table. I am making a bag out of it and it is a crescent shaped bag. So it zips like that from the top and it has like puffy handles. It is a puffer bag. It has a really cool inside going on there, Hawaiian or palm trees, and it has really nice white piping. And so this sewing machine has been a breeze through that except for very thick layers. And because I do have a Cellrite fabricator, I am used to being able to go through thicker layers. So that was a little bit of a surprise with this machine, but, um, I, this is going to be my first time testing out the other two machines, so we're going to compare these three and see how I feel about them. For the first time ever, I am going to test four different materials. We are, of course, definitely going to do our denim test. For this particular machine, it has light blue thread, so I grabbed some black denim so that you can actually see the stitches. Then we are going to use this piece of scrap from our white men's dress shirt for this one. And we are also going to do leather, like I always do. I normally do those three materials, but you guys have asked me to do silk or satin. And so I don't actually have any silk or satin in the office that I can just like scrap so at right now. So comparable to that is this like, it's almost like a satin, it's almost like a taffeta uh, fabric, but it's really thin. And I want to sew on this to see how it will go through this. All right, of course, we are going to start right off with the men's dress shirt first because it's just the easiest thing to sew. I may have to do some adjustments, but I will show you any adjustments that I make because it is set up for when I was making the bag. So let's do this and see how it goes. First, we're gonna start off with just two layers of this. Because the thread cutter does cut it pretty short, I like to kind of hold down this thread and put the foot down before I start because that way it won't pull out of the needle when you start to sew just like it just did. All right, let's sew. All right, so that's bunching up just a little bit. So we're going to play around with the tension a little bit and see if we can get it right. But I am gonna go ahead and press the thread cutter and you can hear that. I can also play around with the stitch right here by moving this up or down. So let's see if that makes a difference to move it down some and then up. The back stitches look pretty good. The third one was the best, but it's still like pulling a little bit. So we threaded it straight through there rather than twisting it around. Oh yeah, that's pulling through a lot easier. So maybe that will help with the, so the thread doesn't pull.
Much less pulling, much better stitches. All right, let's move on to another fabric. We are going to move on to the like taffeta fabric. I don't like having to pull that thread every time you use your thread cutter. That, yeah, that bothers me. Sixteen hundred stitches per minute. All right, let's fold it a few times. Get some more layers in there. See how that does. Oh, it's pulling out much easier too. So that's good. All right, it's looking good. All right, so are you guys ready for the denim test? Let's do two layers. Two layers, that looks really nice. Four layers. Eight layers. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stitches. And let's do 16 layers. Let's see if we can even fit 16 layers in the sewing machine. All right, that was actually more than 16 layers because we were sewing on top of a flat fail seam, but you can see it it did its job all right last up is leather two layers of leather that's the bonus of this one there is no leather creasing no bunching of the letter leather if you try to do that with a regular sewing machine with a regular foot that's not you're not going to get that you're not going to it's going to bunch up and get st stuck. All right, let's do two layers, I mean, four layers of leather. Let's do eight layers of leather. I don't know if we're gonna be able to fold this into 16 layers, but we're gonna try. this line right here beautiful 16 layers of leather all right so next up we have the baby lock accomplished um this sewing machine is the least price in the group so we're gonna see how it compares to the most expensive in the group which is the Janome hd9 so let's make sure this is threaded properly all right so first we're gonna start off with the men's dress shirt material again two layers it does have a knee lift Ooh, lifts very high. You're gonna notice with this one, it is very quiet. And to be honest, I can't quite tell where the, where the tension is. Like where, where's the mark? So we know what the tension is. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so we're gonna sew the two layers of denim. And it seems like this one, you can only do automatic needle down, not automatic needle up. All right, four layers. That's four layers. Let's do eight layers. All right, so that's eight layers. And we are going to try and do 16 layers. Okay, I'm not gonna force it. It doesn't want to do it. <laughs> doesn't want to do it. So certainly it could do 10, 12, maybe, but not 16. 
we're gonna do 11. All right, so that is 11 layers. I'm sure it could do 12. So it's not 16. All right, leather. Four layers of leather. And now we're on eight layers of leather. That was not good. That stitch was not good. I feel like all of these machines would do a lot better with thick thread, but let's try the little taffeta material and see how it does. Pretty, pretty stitch. All right, so now we are at the Juki TL18 QVP, also known as the Haruka, meaning beyond. The weird thing about this one is that the placement of the knee lift is actually a little bit far over, like really close to where you sew. And so you have to move the sewing machine like way over in order to use the knee lift. That's a little bit odd compared to the other two, but you know, just an observation. And with this one, if you use your heel, you can actually um, cut the thread with the foot and it's not an extra accessory. Pretty nice. Let's go ahead and do our little taffeta test. Also do speed test. And with this one, when the thread cuts, it doesn't make the thread so short that when you sew again, um, you're losing your thread. So there's that. The beautiful stitch. These stitches are very nice. And we're doing two layers of denim. Four layers of denim. Whoa. It's this stitch here. Let's go to eight layers. Okay. Kind of losing our stitch. Let's go like a higher stitch length. And we're gonna try to do 16 layers. I don't know. Oh yes, baby. 16 layers of denim right there. And that foot lifted really, really high with the knee lift. Let's do some leather. Two layers, very nice stitch. All right, let's do four. We're actually getting a little bit of bunching. I probably should adjust the foot pressure. We're gonna do eight layers of leather. That's eight layers of leather right there. Beautiful stitch. All right, I don't know if we can do 16, but we're gonna try. Sixteen layers of leather. All right, so that was very enlightening. I'm so glad that I took the time to test all three rather than just kind of asking each person if they like it because we have been sewing on regular quote unquote heavy duty sewing machines like the cheaper, much cheaper versions and going up to this, of course we love them, like of course. But the question is who are these sewing machines for and which one would I keep if I had to make a decision today. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about the Baby Lock Accomplished. Coming in at under $1,000, I think that it that is a very, very good option for that price. It's going to sew a ton. Um, it's going to go through a lot of layers. Now, it didn't quite go through as many as the other ones, but if you are not sewing a ton of layers, then that is definitely a great option for you. It attaches to the table. It has the knee lift. It has the thread cutter. It has the same options pretty much as, as both of the other sewing machines. So yeah, 
definitely check that one out. So now let's talk about the Juki. The Juki for under $2,000, I think is absolutely amazing. Um, it has the knee lift. Now, I don't like the placement of the knee lift. And I say that because I do like to use a knee lift. You, if you don't like to use a knee lift, then that's not an issue. But the placement of the knee lift is odd to me um, after using other sewing machines. But absolutely everything else about that sewing machine is great. Now, I do like the function of having one foot that does both the cutting of the thread and the sewing. But if, you're, if you slip, and you cut your thread like when you don't mean to cut your thread that could technically be annoying and so with the janome having the other foot that may be better but it's a it's it doesn't come with it so you have to buy extra so you know you can gauge that however you feel but the way it sews it sews absolutely amazing it's doing the 16 layers of denim it's doing the 16 layers of um leather it's shooting that fabric through there just like a dream like i would love um so yeah and it's the stitches that it gave on the thin fabric i went straight from thin fabric to thick fabric and the stitches were the same like they were both great so that's a plus to me that that to me is actually one of the biggest pluses you can switch between materials and not have to worry about changing 50 million settings that drives me crazy so yeah if you're in the market definitely give that one a try. And lastly, let's talk about my dream sewing machine, the Janome HD9. This is an amazing sewing machine. Once again, it was doing the 16 layers. I did two whole bags on it faster than I, I've sewn bags, these bags on the Brother Strong and Tub and stuff like that. And um, it did take longer on those sewing machines, obviously. So I was able to get through those bags relatively probably about in about half the time not about half but close to half the time so that's definitely a plus it does have all these great features the independent and automatic bobbin winder is chef's kiss the foot is humongous like humongous so that's amazing i love love using the foot pedal like you can't miss it um so i love that the only thing I didn't care for is like on both the baby lock as well as the Janome, losing that thread every time you cut the thread. Like that is so annoying. Like that's super annoying. And then also um, when you're changing from like lightweight fabrics to thicker fabrics, you're having to adjust the, the settings a lot. And that can get frustrating on a sewing machine. And so to pay, you know, over 2000 for something is making you a little bit frustrated. You know, that for me drops it under the Juki. Yes, I said it first. Here you can tell that if I were to get one of these sewing machines today, it would be the Juki TL18 QVP. Now, you guys know that I am big on looks of my sewing machines and the looks of it is not my favorite. Jukis are never my favorite as far as looks. They do look like they in they belong in a warehouse, but I do prefer the looks of the Janome. That's just me. But in this case, for what I'm doing right now in my life, I love, you know, the sewing machines to look good. You know, my baby back there looks amazing <laughs> sitting in the background, but um, I would have to choose something that is not going to frustrate me on a daily basis. And so I would choose the Juki. That's just me. You guys let me know in the comments which one you would choose. Let me know if you're in the market for a sewing machine. That's super exciting. Um, and even if you're not in the market for something this expensive or this big, you can also get that from Montevilla. So check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely let me know what else you want to know about these sewing machines. We have them for three more weeks. I am going to do an individual video about each one telling you how to thread them. So, cause I think that would be helpful um, while we have them. But yeah, definitely let me know. And I have other sewing machine reviews you can check out right here and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.